Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem on average, which involves a graph. Okay, so let's read the problem. It says the following graph shows the number of children in 205 families in a township in 2009. Okay, this means the year 2009. Okay, so number of children in the township in 2009, here is the graph on the x-axis is the number of children in the family and the y-axis has the number of families. Okay, so what this means is that, you know, in 2009, there were 39 families in this township that had zero children each. Okay, then there were 29 families that had one child each. And then there were 73 families with two children each. 46 families with three children each and 18 families with four children each. Okay, now let's uh, let's see the questions. Actually, there are three questions. I'm going to do them one by one. So the first question is, what was the total number of children in the township in 2009? Okay, this is pretty simple and straightforward. We know that there were 39 families with zero children each. Okay, then there were... 29 families with one child each okay this is one then there were 73 families with two children each so there were a total of 73 times two children in those 73 families right plus there were 46 families with three children each and 18 families with four children each now, this is a simple calculation. Let's uh, use a calculator so we save time. So, this is 39 times 0, which is obviously 0. 29 times 1, which is obviously 29. Then there is 73 times 2, which is 146. So, let's write that down here. This is 0. This is 39 times 0 plus 29 plus 146 plus 46 times 3, 46 times 3 which is 138 so this is 138 plus 18 times 4 so 18 times 4 is 72 okay plus 72 what's that equal to let's add these all up so we have 29 plus 146 plus 138 plus 72 385. So there were a total of 385 children in the township in 2009. Okay, I'll write that down here on the graph that there were 385 children in the township in 2009. Okay, this is for 2009. There were 385 children. Okay, that was easy. Now let's see what's the next question. Okay, the next question is, what was the average number of children per family in 2009? Okay, now we know that there were 205 families and there were a total of 385 children. So then what is the average number of children per family? Now we know that the formula for average is, average is equal to the total of all the items. Okay, the total of all the items is equal to 385. So 385 children per family. Per family means divided by the total number of families. And the total number of families was 205. So 385 children divided among 205 families. That will give you the average number of children per family. Okay, so let's use a calculator again. It's 385 divided by 205 families okay so that's equal to 1.878 so let's write that down here this is equal to 1.878 so 1.878 children per family right that's simple right we just put these numbers in the formula for average and we find out the average number of children per family okay so now it says the round of your answer to one decimal place so we only are interested in one place after the decimal so this is equal to approximately 1.9 because we'll round up right so this is equal to 1.9 and that means that in 2009 there were 1.9 children per family in the township okay so that's easy that's done it's just putting the numbers in the formula and you get the answer okay that's done now let's see what's next okay now the next question is in 2010 
the number of children in the township increased by 56 while the total number of families remain unchanged okay so the number of children went up by 56 so in 2009 there were 385 children but now there are 385 plus 56 children okay in 2010 there are 385 plus 56 children so that's equal to let's see what 385 plus 56 is one here one here nine and five is 14 one here so 441 okay so now in 2010 okay in the year 2010 there are 441 children in the township but the total number of families hasn't changed so the total number of families is still 205 okay so the number of children is 441 this is the number of children okay it's gone up by 56 while the number of families is still 205 this is the number of families so what we have to find out now is what was the average number of children per family in the township in 2010 so the average we know is equal to total number of children total children divided by total families right number of children per family would mean total number of children divided by total number of families so all we do is take these numbers plug into the formula and we get the answer that's what we have to do so now 441 divided by 205 is equal to 2.15 all right so this is equal to 2.15 now we still have to round off this answer to one decimal place so this is approximately equal to 2.2 children per family we round it up right because of the five here so in 2010 the average number of children per family was approximately equal to 2.2 while in 2009 we saw previously the average number of children per family was approximately equal to 1.9 so actually in one year the average number has gone up by 0 0.3 well all right that's it that's uh, all i have to talk about this question i hope you've understood this graph and how to solve this problem and i hope that now you'll go and solve some other word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. This is Anne signing off for now. Bye.